what we've done in this PFEMA form here, we've applied some parameters that are going to control how the color coding behaves in the risk rating area here. What we've seen is uh, people have a lot of different ways of uh, defining their risk rating. And what we've done is just picked the selection here to show you some different capabilities. We see some people saying that if the severity level is above a certain uh, value, then this particular severity column here should go red. So if I go to my severity here, and the limit here is 9, so if I click on the drop down here and I pick 7, it shows a 7, I pick 8, it stays white, I pick 9, and now suddenly it goes red. And that's using that value right there. Now the default action called seriousness is a, actually the occurrence multiplied by the severity. We see people doing that as well here. So you can see if I come into my occurrence here, and I put an occurrence of 1, it shows 9 here. But if I go to its value of 2, that turns red here. Uh, my default action for the RPN, if it's above 100, then it needs to do something. So in this case, I've got a value of 18 here. So if I go a value of 5 here, it takes it to 90. That's not a problem. But if I give it a 6, it makes it red. That is a problem. Now, if the value happens to be below the lower limit, we would actually make it go green, saying everything's fine. So if I was to change this here to maybe a 1 and change this to a 3, and this to a 2, let's say. Right, you can see 6 here. But if I change this up to a, um, let's say, a 7, it's still OK. If I change it to 10, it's still OK. But if I make this go to 2, it changes to the interim color. And that's the medium color. So we're defining the high and the low color here. This is controlled by the uh, conditional formatting. So the conditional formatting is in the home ribbon. This is Excel 2010. You go to conditional formatting for that cell. I like to use the manage rules here. You can see all the rules in one place right here. Right. So you select your field that you want to look at. You can see the formula that's doing the calculation. And then you can go to the conditional formatting and use the manage rules. And there you can see the different values we're seeing. So you can see how we're referring to it. If it's nothing, then it's just plain. And click on this one, edit the rule. So we're saying use a formula to determine which cells to format. So if the value in M13, the cell over here that we're selecting, is greater than B9 minus 1. So B9 is 100, minus 1 would be 99. So if it's greater than that, it's going to be a whole number. Then we're going to turn it red, and that's where the color is showing right here. Close out of this, get back over here, you can see the yellow value here. So just click on that, edit the rule. So here we're looking for a format, only cells that contain. So it contains the value between B10, B10 being 32, and B9. So anything between 32 and 100 are going to turn yellow. That's exactly what you see right here. The last one is to look at this one here. So we click on the edit. In this case it says if M3 is less than B10 plus 1. So B10 plus 1 would be 33. 32 plus 1 is 33. And that would turn it uh, green here. If it's below, anything below 33 would turn green. So we're using the uh, these control parameters over here to control the way that these uh, risk ratings uh, are being applied here.